many of you have worked with it. Uh, the wave equation right there, it's a marriage of uh, Isaac Newton's second law of dynamics and, and Robert Hooke's uh, law of elasti- uh, theory of elasticity. And so the, the idea is to look for solutions to the wave equation which match measured uh, boundary conditions of this one would be surface load versus time and this is surface position versus time so if you when you find these uh, solutions that match these boundary conditions then you you get a, a you evaluate a function the position a function of depth and time and you can Evaluate that at the pump depth and for various values of time through the stroke and draw yourself a pump car. One of the disadvantages of the Gilbert tool was that you had to pull the well to get your dynamometer car. And that was costly and, uh, and so the, the tool was not used a lot because of the cost. And now, but now you had a way of getting the, the downhole pump card from surface data and uh, without having having to pull the well and these downhole pump cards are much easier to interpret there's only a handful of different shapes whereas there are infinitely many shapes of surface cards every time I show this Lynn I think of you (laughs) Lynn doesn't like for me to draw this bottom of the card below zero. I apologize. That's okay. You, <laughs> uh, well, you can draw it anywhere you want to, but yeah, I have a confession to make. I was about to have to work really hard and go through the files and and uh, and get these different kinds of pump cards to put on the PowerPoint, but I thought I'd just cheat, and so I I scanned my mouse pad. <laughs> you, you guys and girls, uh, y'all probably have. You may, some of you may have. Lufkin took Ken Nolan's, my beloved partner's, uh, old 1970 hand-drawn cards and turned them into a mouse pad. So I scanned it. I did take off the commercial, but. Uh, but if if you would say what is the, if you would answer the question, what is the utility of the of the downhole pump card, it might be that it uh, eliminates uh, ambiguity that you have. Like if you have a well and suddenly it's producing less than it used to, well, then you wonder why. Well, it could be a worn pump. It could be a tubing anchor that turned loose. It could be a hole in the tubing. Uh, it could be a defect in the, RF, in the secondary recovery. Maybe the, the injection well over yonder, offset injection well plugged up and you're not getting the water in it anymore as much in the drainage radius of this well. So it could be any number of these things. And, uh, but with the downhole card, you're, you're apt to be, go to the, the very problem, you know, in just one, one shot. So like, for example, if you see a, a rectangular looking card like that, that says the anchor is holding, the pump is filling, the pump is good, more production available. This one here says the same things except the tubing anchor is turned loose or was never anchored maybe. You need to anchor the tubing because you're losing some production and this one here you're pounding fluid. The pump is only filling about halfway. The pump is good. The anchor is holding. You're over pumping the well. You need to time clock it or you need to put a pump off control on it somehow or other try to match the capacity of the pump to the capacity of the well. This one shows uh, gas interference. This would be low pressure gas in the pump. This would be higher pressure gas in the pump. You know to, this would be expansion effects, compression effects, and you know to, uh, to get more out of this well you've got to do a better job of, of, of venting that free gas and sending it up the casing. casing. This one here is uh, either a parted rods or a foul traveling valve or something like that, or even a flowing well. Here's the pump hitting up and down. That's a short pump if it can hit both of up and down. And, and here would be a tight spot in the barrel, and this would be a worn traveling valve like we were talking about earlier today. Slow to pick up the load and premature to release it. Uh, replace the pump. Uh, production's being lost. Production's being lost here because of a leaky standing valve. Here you had a, 
uh, maybe a, a worn or a split barrel in the top of the pump, making the pump lose its load as it travels upward. This uh, crown on the top and sag on the bottom suggests uh, fluid friction of the fluids moving through the tubing at, at high speeds. So, you know, pressure drop is sort of uh, proportional to speed. And uh, maybe you need bigger tubing here. And this car here that backs up, whereas that one goes forward, this is a dead giveaway that you've got a lot of rod tubing drag you do to deviated weld or crooked holes, something like that. So anyhow, they, uh, so we, we needed a new dynamo 